need to laugh and when the sun is out Good afternoon everyone, this is our uh, first beer review, we're going to be doing these uh, weekly and posting them. Uh, the Link Beverage Beer Review, I'm here with Travis Newbert. Travis is a customer of ours, I asked him to come in and help out, he's a uh, self-proclaimed beer geek. Um, Am I right? I would say more of a drunk. More of a drunk, okay. <laughs> a self-proclaimed drunk. <laughs> Alright, um, two beers we'll be uh, reviewing today, we're going to be reviewing the Anchor IPA from Anchor Brewing Company. And we're going to be reviewing the Dog Tag IPA from Dog Tag Brewing. First one we're going to do is Dog Tag and a little bit of the history behind Dog Tag. They're a, they're a company from Chicago, I believe, and or somewhere in the Midwest. In it's brewed in Wisconsin, but I think the guy's from Chicago. Anyway, each every six months they rotate which officer they're going to dedicate the beer to and the, the names on here and it's a fallen soldier from a war from a previous war and a certain amount of the proceeds from selling these beers will go towards their family's favorite charity so that alone gives it that's very cool it bumps it up that's to like cool. you know a seven out of ten already before i taste it you absolutely know? so you know this beer comes in at a 7.1 percent and 70 ibus supposedly it has a nice malt character to it um, we'll see. There you go. Looks dark. It does. I like my sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It has a nice amber color, almost, uh... Cheers. Thank you. Nice head, too. It's very dark. It's clear, though. It is, which is good. Yeah, I like it when it's not cloudy. I get it's definitely malty. It is malty. It has a nice malt up front. Yeah. I can tell already. I'm feeling like it's going to be malt up front. A little bit of bitterness on the back end. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not quite as citrusy as like as the reviews say or like they read on there. It's a well balanced IPA. Not offensive to the intro beer, you know, mm -hmm. craft beer guy. It's not too extreme on any level. It is very. It is very malty. But it's not extremely harsh in the back either. No, like some some of these, you know, you can have a heavy malt up front and then it'll kill you on the back end. Too much bitter. Too much bitter. Yeah. This is this is nice. I like the aroma driven IPAs more. That, I, know, I appreciate the fact that it smells good, but right. it still has all that malt. You know, super. Yeah, this is good. I would definitely drink this, and I would buy it. I would buy it just for the concept, but it's also good beer. Yeah, you can drink this all day. Yep. Or all morning. There's the first one, folks. <laughs> this is pretty good. Merry Christmas. All right, everyone. The second beer we're going to be sampling today, and uh, or reviewing, I should say, is the Anchor IPA. And traditionally, Anchor's really never done anything like this. Yes, I'm aware of that. You know, they, they have the Liberty Ale, but that's more, you know, that's more malty. It doesn't have that's not a hop forward. This is very hop forward, from what I understand. And the story behind this beer is um, they, they went for a theme of, they wanted to go for a theme of the gold rush in San Francisco. So all the miners used to say chasing the elephant. The, the gold rush miners would be like chasing the elephant. We're going to chase the elephant. So, and I never knew this, Travis. But I never did either. When, when, Eng, when England used to send beer to India, that's why they called it Indian Pale Ale, to, they add the hops to preserve it, they send it to India. Wow. They actually sent beer also around the southern tip of South America up to San Francisco for the gold rush. Really? And I didn't know that. I mean, I didn't theoretically, I, I think it's going to be called California Pale Ale. Well, I thought you were talking about the elephant. But, uh, I, didn't, I never heard of the Chasing well, the Elephant reference either. Right. Yeah. So that's why they have the elephant on the front of the label. That's, that's pretty cool. And then they used to send beer for the gold miners from England. I did not know that. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool fact. A little Cliff Clavin knowledge for you. Nice beer opener you got there. You like that? <laughs> You're doing a, uh, a little plug for Sharpie. <laughs> this one that's looks a little dark too. Yeah, that's dark yeah. also, yeah. But that's clear though. Yeah, well, it doesn't have as much head. It is clear, yes it is. Very clear. This smells almost identical. 
have our sorbet. No. Oh, no. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> cleanse that palate. Here, take a pretzel. <laughs> Citrusy, it. absolutely, yeah. Well, I like I, it. it does have six different kinds of hops to it. I like it a lot. It finishes with citra. It does, yes. Yeah. But I know we're not comparing, but this one's a little more of what I would consider a more balanced IPA. That's more malty IPA. Correct. And there's are, there are a lot of good IPAs, and it, it sort of depends on your mood. If you're in a to a malty IPA, that's a better beer for you. Correct. Right. Not a better beer. For I, you, I think I think this is more approachable for the. For the I was more just gonna people. say that this is still bitter. Right. It's still better, which I love, and I'm happy with. Right. But if I was going to give it to somebody who doesn't drink IPAs very often, I would suggest the, the dog type one. Right. You know. But you can. It's it's definitely a good beer. But it's still better. I'll give kudos to Anchor for this one. That's a good beer. Absolutely. I like it. Hey, remember, guys. Thank Link. Thank you. <laughs> I need to laugh, and when the sun is out, I've got something I can laugh about.